What up, though, heist man, the foe, talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions, man. I got to tell you real quick, I'm about 50-50 on this, man. I'm talking about, when I heard this story, I was like, yeah, you know, I can go either way on this story. But if y'all know the story, it's about this woman right here. Her name is Barbie Bassett or Bassett or something like that. She is a, a news anchor out of Mississippi. And what she did... Hold on, I'm gonna let y'all hear. Hold on. Snoop Dogg says there's nothing better. Well, he hadn't tried anything from Julie Levin way. I agree with that. You know how Martha Stewart uh, gets had a collaboration. Yes. I, they ought to. He ought to have a collaboration with uh, Julie. No mm -hmm. telling what Snoop Dogg and Julie Levin way could come mm -hmm. up with. I think that'd be pretty cool. Well, we know it. She'd have a Snoop Dogg tattoo on her shoulder. A shizzle, isn't it? <laughs> I'm telling you, Julie. What you? And yeah, y'all heard it. If y'all don't know what she, I mean, I got my wife right here. She can't hear this right now. But the woman, what happened was, Charlene, um, she a news anchor. And they talking about some Snoop Dogg um, wine or something and helping them out or something, blase, blase. And he asked, he told, the one anchor told the woman was like, yo, you and Snoop, y'all can collab and do something. They can do something. Maybe they get a tattoo. And she was like, yeah, for shizzle my nizzle. And she got fired for that. She got fired for saying, for shizzle my nizzle. So what age group was she in? Our, our age group? That woman, that woman grown. So in our age group, we grew up in a time where saying something like that wasn't necessarily inappropriate. For shizzle my nizzle. Yes. I'm 50-50 on it too because She's, you know how I feel about the N-word. She said for real, my but, nigga. Am I wrong? But, no, no, that's no. You're not wrong. Like like you said, I'm 50-50 on it because uh, the nizzle part <laughs> nizzle. is equivalent to the N-word. Right. But the Snoop Dogg reference only shows her love for Snoop right. Dogg. Right. And her, uh, her her reference to it. So maybe she should have, I think maybe she should have been talked to and been reprimanded. She been there for 40 years. Oh, I mean, I, I think she's been there like 20 years. I don't know if it was necessarily a fireable offense if she didn't do it. I think she was negligent in saying it rather than like saying it with malintent. Right. I mean, this, this did happen in Mississippi, you know, and we ain't going to talk about all the stuff that go down out there. Yeah. Our era, like, mm. yeah, 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 yeah. Our era, and I'm, I, I didn't see her or, nor hear the video. Right. But from what I could tell, it was like, you know, our era... No, that's right, she was just chiming in. She, the dude, I mean, it was just like a little back and forth. They was a, a dancer, right? They was talking about a product he had and stuff. And I'm like, hey, uh, maybe he can work with such and such and such and such. She was like, yeah, she but she's on my nizzle. I think she should have been reprimanded. That's what I'm I saying. Don't she, I don't think it came from a malintent place, and I don't think she necessarily meant the n word. She I said, watch the video. She said it. She said, for she's on my nizzle. I said nizzle. I don't say the n word. You say nizzle. I said it. Oh. Now. But you know how I feel about the N-word. I know how you feel about me. I don't feel about... I, I, am I the N-word? <laughs> many days, many days. Ah! You called me a nizzle live on camera. But nizzle, I don't know if it has necessarily the connotations of negativity that the in, actual N-word has. Right. It's not. The, it's just not the same in my heart. It's not. She same. on live TV, she said that. She said, for shizzle my nizzle. She, she was, said, for real, my nigga. And back and forth and... And, kind of, and, and, and low key, kind of appropriate for the. Um, it was very appropriate. It was an appropriate response. I know. So, we got to pick our battles, man. Um, I think she should have been reprimanded just as a reminder, like, hey, it's nineteen. It's not nineteen ninety five anymore. We can't really express ourselves that way. You, you know. But she's so madness. But she. Anyway, we definitely will be talking about this Friday right here on this channel because I go live every Friday talking about stuff just like this. You just got to come through and highlight me, man. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through, join the conversation, and highlight your boy. Heist man the folk. Talk that talk. Ghetto news and opinions. Peace. All right. This time, but I'll be back, and sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.